Okay, so let's make the process, uh, markup process a little bit more complicated. And uh, let's go back to the stair here. And let's say we have this person standing over here and we make the following rule. So let's say there is step three. And you say, if you come to step three, step three at time four, go to five. Or if you come to time at time six, go to three. Um, and for, at the re rest of the time, go to two. So uh, this is certainly well defined. There's no ambiguity about uh, what the rules are. If you come at time four, you say, okay, go to five, go to six, go to three, and go to two. But it makes it very difficult to analyze what the system is going to do because you have to keep track all the time of um, uh, what the current time is. And if the time is now a particular time, you have to do something different from what you normally do. Um, when you have such a system like this, we call it a non-homogeneous non-homogeneous uh, stochastic process. And if, on the other hand, what you do is independent of time, then we call it a homogeneous stochastic process. Stochastic process. Now, in particular, notice that uh, we uh, are not looking at past history to decide where to go. These rules do not have any past history. So these are actually both Markov processes. Uh, it's just that one is a non-homogeneous Markov process and what other is a homogeneous Markov process. But homogeneous mean this, we uh, automatically mean uh, time homogeneous uh, Markov process. Okay, so in our uh, discussion from now on, we're going to assume it's, it is uh, time independent. In other words, we're only going to study homogeneous Markov processes.